If there were a football version of the Federico Fellini film La Dolce Vita, then surely Matteo Brighi would star. A man who rose from grind to glamour. Just like the iconic Italian director, Brighi was born in the seaside town of Rimini, but went on to reach international recognition in the eternal city of Rome. When I joined Roma, my initial fear was that I wouldn't play as much as I did at Chievo, which, after all, was a smaller club. That's when I first felt like a real player, because I could feel the responsibility that came with the shirt. And even my first training session felt different to training with other clubs. Fellini's Amarcourt evoked a sense of nostalgia. Literally translated, it means, I remember. But Brighi's memories do not wash away like words written in the sand. I remember that 4-1 win at home against Palermo. I scored a brace. The best memories are tied to a sold-out Olimpico. These are the moments you remember best. And it's on those kind of stages that you feel like a true footballer. Giocatore vero. On the half volley, Matteo Brighi. No chance for Serie A. A first Serie A brace for Brighi. Totti, l'hai visto con Totti is a true club icon. And I think Totti's strength has always been to be himself on and off the pitch. He was a hard worker, but he had a good word for newcomers and lads like me, because I was one of the last players to join the team. He treated me like he treated the senior players, and these are things you never forget throughout your career. Today, that kind of tie with the city may be seen in Lorenzo Pellegrini. He's made it to the national team, and he's a Roman icon. He gives everything for the shirt. He's a pure spirit on and off the pitch. And he loves Roma more than himself. On Sunday, Roma face a team living their own Dolce Vita. Sassuolo, despite defeat by Inter last time out, are sitting in third place. They've been doing well for many years now, and now could be the time to take that extra step that they've been missing in the last few seasons. They have more experience now. When I joined them, it was their first year in Serie A, and I adapted well. But they didn't have the infrastructure they have now. The training centre they built has great appeal. Now when you sign for Sassuolo, you know who you're signing for. Sassuolo have their totti in Francesco Magninelli. A lot of the credit for the growth of the team has to go to him. He plays, he leads a group, he drives everyone forward. And clubs develop a lot when they can count on these kinds of players. Sassuolo have beaten Roma only once in Serie A, but their one victory was last season. Roberto De Zerbi's side are capable of repeating their classic. Last year I went to the Mape Stadium to watch Sassuolo Roma. Against all odds, Sassuolo won. I think they're a great club right now, and that opponents treat them that way, they start to see them as a new Atalanta. I played with Ciccio Caputo at Empoli for a year and a half. He did great there. I never saw him miss a single training session, and he's still in that mood and focus. He's a goal scoring machine. He was born for this, and he's thriving at Sassuolo. De Zerbi knows he's his ideal striker.
Roma need to be at their sparkling best if Paolo Fonseca's men are to withstand Sassuolo's attack.